risk of sometimes injury or sometimes uh, kind of an exponentially expanding sort of scenario or situation where things kind of get worse and worse and worse and worse. Like you're out there in the snow in your car or, you know, you're in your car, you're at a day and you're going over a mountain pass, but you're not really equipped to do like an overnight thing. But yeah, if you go out for a little bit, then you get stuck there and then maybe you get back to your car, but now it's nighttime and now it's cold. It's just sort of like this escalating set of things that sort of start to cause more problems. And, uh, and that's sort of kind of how some of these wilderness things go where you don't really think it's going to be a problem and then it starts to happen and then that causes another problem and that causes a few other problems and sort of dealing with those uh, sets of situations as they come up so that they don't, uh, just so that you make the right decisions and that you don't end up making more problems with for yourself by trying to do something to help yourself survive. Like uh, injuring yourself when you're trying to catch food to eat or something is, is you know, like a more risky thing. You could probably go without eating that time. Um, and it would be better for you to remain uninjured in part of it. But also, you know, it's just like, wow, how do you do that? How, how do you like go th- go about navigating uh, those sets of choices and have the skills to kind of do that? So I'm sure it's pretty tricky and hard. And, uh, and that's why it's kind of good to sort of have some competency so you can sort of keep yourself away from those uh, those heavier deep water situations that uh, can kind of get you in trouble and stuff. But uh, but also, I don't know, it's something you can kind of kind of learn how to do. I hope to kind of get into that more within this podcast, too, of kind of talking about that in relation to doing some photography stuff outside. Pretty much everything I've, I've been doing for the last uh, few months of this podcast, but talking about a lot of the wilderness outdoor stuff and then sort of how that relates to doing some photography and media stuff when you're outdoors, too. So, yeah, I know it's kind of trippy getting into the, the wilderness risk stuff that you can, uh, you can have out there. And uh, I don't know, I, I, uh, I've been pretty lucky with the kinds of things that have happened to me before. I think I've nearly been lost before out in the woods. That's kind of, or there's, there's a few like hard, hard fought lessons that, uh, that I've, I've learned over time. And part of it is to kind of like, yeah, stop moving and stop making mistakes when you start to make mistakes, man, that was kind of the tricky one of like, or like trying to move around too much at night when it's dark out. Cause you think, well, maybe I can get in a better position cause it's a risky position right now, but really, movement at night is is the the riskier position especially when like there's uh there's almost no risk of uh exposure problems or something like that so i remember yeah being out at night up in the mountains and then i uh, was in the kind of this rocky area and i had lost the trail i still had my gear with me which is great and so i could put down and kind of set up anywhere but i remember kind of being weirded out i weirded myself out you know kind of being out there on sort of this uh 